Here we are for Systems Academy and we're going to be building a model for increasing at an increasing rate uh, using Vensim PLE. Let's go in here and make this bigger. use the hand here to grab it, move it back up to where I want it, and uh, adjust these sidebars. So you didn't see a lot of what, what I was doing there, but uh, my cursor doesn't show up in the video. So I was using this hand icon to move the uh, level around. I used the Vensim uh, menu to zoom in at 200% and then it, when I did that it moved it to a different part of the screen so I had to uh, bring it back into the screen that we're using here. So a little tricks with Vensim PLE. So next I'm going to add a um, flow rate and we're working this time with an increasing at an increasing rate. So we're going to use a new uh, icon here called variable and we're going to call this one um, the rate of it's going to be the rate of increase. We're going to use another one new icon here that's arrow. This arrow is an information flow. So information about the value of the rate is going to go along this blue line to this equation here. And uh, then we're going to put another um, information flow from here, from the level, to the, um, we'll just grab that uh, little dot there and move that. So you can see some of the uh, navigation within um, Vincent. So next I'm going to look at the equations and we'll see why I made this uh, model the way I did. So the rate here, we're going to put in a fraction of one-tenth. Now I could put um, 0.1 as the value because one-tenth is the same as 0.1. Uh, so I'm, the rate of increase is going to be 10%, 0 0.1, one-tenth. They're all the same thing, saying, saying the same thing in different ways. Uh, next, we're going to look at the equation for the uh, flow. This is a material flow, uh, whatever it is that uh, in, is increasing. So we're going to look at the list of variables here. And we have a rate that we're going to use and then we're going to uh, just put in a little space and then I'm going to, I can pick the asterisk here uh, that means I'm going to multiply I don't have to put a space in here but I just do for um, appearance and then uh, I put in the level the value the level so the equation here is the rate times the level and the rate is a fraction so a fraction of the level is going to increase and accumulate every time period. Next I'm going to click OK. Now we're going to look at the equation for the level. Now we want a non-zero value because if we put zero in here then it's always going to be zero. So we're going to pick an initial value of 20 and you can use this uh, little keypad here to put in 20 or you can use your keyboard and then I'm going to click OK. Now our equations for our model are complete and we've set the model settings for um, this. The model settings uh, we set it from the initial time is 0 to uh, 30 and we've set the time step to 0 0.0625 and we're using the integration method of Runga Kutta 4, RK4. 
Now we're going to run the simulation and VenSim wants to know if I'm going to overwrite the data and I say yes and now I can click on the graph icon and I'll stretch this out here by grabbing the right bottom right corner so you can see that what do we have what's the pattern here this is a pattern of growth that's increasing at an increasing rate <clears throat> so it goes from the bottom left and curves up towards the top right at an increasing pace it goes faster and faster up towards the right. So this is the uh, way you build a model to have an increasing at an increasing rate. And this is the model uh, that you the standard model for that uh, growth function.